We're setting traps today on the creek. We have some cattails here, and right there's a pinch point with a 220. Um, if you look on the side of these cattails, you can see pretty well-used mink trail. And it comes down all along the top edge of this creek. Down here, there's mink tracks, mink tracks. And it goes down and eventually it jumps into the river down there. So this snow is pretty fresh within like the last week. And there's a lot of tracks here. So um, I'm going to set top edge sets with one and a halfs and 110s, 120s, 160s, whatever I have. And hopefully we'll have one tomorrow. So I'm going to show you when I'm done setting it up and I'll show you when I, er, when I check it tomorrow. Can't even tell it's there now that it's a little rusted over and died. So I'm just gonna take a T-bar stick now. And stick this down into the creek. Right above there. So now my trap is staked. And we can't even see the trap. So if the mist comes down, he's just going to be running down the trail like usual. And that should stop him. It might block off the top a little more. Okay, there's no way he's gonna go around it. Okay, so uh, yesterday I showed you guys a set I made with the 110 Kana Bear, where right under this little pad, there's um, there was mink tracks in the snow which melted last night, but I came up today and my trap's missing. So I looked in the water and I pulled out this big buff mink. my first mink I've caught, but it's pretty big, first one, uh, got a little white patch of fur under its chin, caught it in a 110, the 110 was wired down to a um, stick somewhere, I stuck, I forget where it was wired, but it's a stick or a stake I put right down here, and uh, got him in a 110. My next trap was a 120, which is right there, it's still sad. But uh, he drowned, the kind of bear got him and he fell right into the water. So, it's cool, first make, I'll probably get this one tanned since it's the first. I'll show you guys if we get any catches. So, right there in the water, if you can see, is a submerged 220 which for the most part is blocked off around it if a muskrat or a beaver happens to swim. And then right here on the upside, right on the front of the dam, I can't put anything there because it just gets clogged, but right there is a 160 submerged and blocked off. And look right here is mink tracks all over here come right by here down under this big tangle of brush I'm gonna put a 120 right there a couple minutes uh, they come right under this brush right through here trap there they go around it and then you come back on this side they come right here, down through here, they go up over this little thing, and some of it go down. Now you see if they were to follow the trail that they took originally, hop right in the water to get back on land, they would go right there through my 110, follow this trail. 
and 120 here, but instead they hop right up around it, right over the land. Chasing the couple of mink down on this creek, and uh, I have a 160 set right there at the dam, underwater, 220 right there, and I even have a 120 under that brush pile where there are a couple of mink coming under. Right there, there was a big ice shelf the other day. I had a foothold. Let me get in the water and show you guys. I had a one and a half duke right there for any mink coming up and going over this trail. And I had a 120 right over there. Well, I don't know how I did it, but I got a double on mink. See? I'm gonna attempt to show you guys what I mean, but sorry, I'm filming by myself and it's raining today. I'm a little sick, but I am so happy right now. This is the first, this is only my third, my second and third mink I've ever caught in my life. So the first one I gotta show you guys is the one and a half, which was set right there. And I had a wire going from right there on that tree. You can see in my hand, didn't see my trap or my slide lock right here, but I followed it down to the end of the trap, the wire, and right there is another mink. Let me try and get him out of the water for you guys, and I'll show you the catch I got. Gotta clean them off right quick. But here is my mink number one. You can see I got a pretty good catch on him right above the paw. And I set the slide drowning wire so if I did catch him and he had sat here overnight, it'd drown him really quick. And he wouldn't be uh, alive and able to hurt himself. So that's a both a it's a little insurance for both them trapper and the animal. Let me uh, get him out of the trap. Okay, here he is. Second mink I've ever caught. Looks like a, seems like a pretty decent one. So there's mink number one. And then if you come over here, I had a little crossing under these branches just in case somehow they bypassed uh, the first set with a 120 here it is that is mink number two this one looks like a little female uh. these are good new traps do Dukes. Ah, uh, here it is. Sorry about the water on the lens. I'm trying to film by myself. Got a perfect body catch on it. Looks like a decent sized female. I'm gonna, I'll show you guys once I get them both out of the traps and I reset them. All right guys, sorry for the footage. I don't know if you can see, but it's raining pretty good. We got this bridge here, it's too deep for one time's but This is right where I caught those mink, literally side by side. I'll show you the two sets that I had in. Here's a drowning cable out in the deeper water. I had a one and a half here with uh, some reeds over it. I'm expecting snow tonight, so I don't want it to freeze into the water. But it, they were hopping right up this bank, right up there. Set a one and a half there, and then right down there was another little trail, and I had a 120 in it. Caught mink there, and that 120, and another mink there. So I had two mink, a buck and a female. And, and uh, there they are, these conditions suck. We're expecting 
anywhere between three to eight inches of snow tonight. So I'm glad I got these out before the conditions got bad. Well, we got some snow last night like we were expecting. All slushy stuff. It's pretty warm out today for the middle, for the February anyways. And uh, the river, the creek flooded over. You can see the dam is buried right now in the water. So I'm coming through, I'm pulling traps. And, but uh, whatever traps I can find, I'm pulling now. And I'll come back and get the others later. I just want to show you guys the catch that I got over here. Some of you might you might remember the uh, mink I caught the first one in this trail that's now completely over. Well, I pulled that 110 out right just now. Had a nice size rat in it, so the day wasn't a complete bust. So I'm happy. And I'm just gonna go through and finish pulling. I'll put him up tonight.